Want a couple of great ideas to use AI for teaching vocabulary? Keep watching. If this is the first time we're meeting, I'm Joga Conga. I've been in the English language teaching game for 35 years and training teachers on CELTA and MA TESOL programs since the year 2000. Quite a long time. I've also got a website at elttraining.com where I make video-based material for teachers at all stages of their careers, including my new course, AI Powered Language Teaching, which will help to take the work out of giving your learners personalised communicative lessons on any topic at any level using ChatGPT or BARD to help you. So check that out and don't forget to like and subscribe here if you want to see more of my stuff. So here's the first idea and it's for your learners to do outside class. This is great particularly for higher levels, especially to help them really understand the use of a particular item. So tell them that when they learn a new word, it's important to see it in context. Looking at the dictionary definition or a translation isn't always enough. Tell them to use ChatGPT or BARD to give them examples. Here's one I did earlier, and it's an authentic one actually, because it's a word that I came across recently that I'd never heard before. Fatidigal. Mm. Do you know what it is? Well, I looked online and I got this definition, or this one from Collins, or this less than helpful one from the OED but I still wasn't sure how to use it exactly. So I asked Bard, and this is what I got. Much more useful, I think. And this amount of context in the sentences makes it really clear how it's used, that it's obviously quite literary, maybe rather antiquated, collocates with things like astrologer, hermit, old woman, um, prophecy, for example. And also I think seeing it in that many different contexts really helped to cement it in my mind. Although I'm not gonna be sure I'm gonna be using it in everyday conversation, to be honest. So there's your first idea. Show your learners how to use ChatGPT or BARD to write examples to help them understand better. You could get them to bring some of those examples to class, perhaps. Idea number two. This is similar, but something to do in class. You've got vocabulary that you've taught, maybe in this lesson, maybe in other lessons, and you want to review it. So a gap fill, make sure that they understand it in context, but it's hard work to write your own. So just ask Bard to do it for you. Put in a prompt, please make a gap fill exercise with contextualized sentences for the following vocabulary and paste in the words that you want to review. I'm not sure if you have to say please to Bard, but I always do. I chose vocabulary at random and got these sentences and a story that combined most of them. Nice. All you have to do then is to paste this into a Word document. You may have to edit things a bit. I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's much faster than making it up from scratch and it's useful recycling of the vocabulary for your learners. So give it a go. If you like these ideas and you want 10 frameworks to use with AI as your classroom assistant to make lessons on any topic at any level without hours of work, then check out my new course. And I hope this has inspired you to experiment a bit with ChatGPT, Bard and Copilot, if you haven't already. 
Have fun. Bye-bye.